Good evening, I'm Daniel Wynn. Tractor rollovers are the leading cause of death among farmers. According to the U.S. Labor Bureau, nearly 50 farmers died from a rollover between 2011 and 2018. New since 5, this week is Farm Safety Week, and WGEM's Dylan Smith is back from Taylor, Missouri, where he talked with one family who has experienced tragedy firsthand. Dylan. Daniel, it was like any other day on June 17th of 2018, Father's Day. Lacey Miller and her family had just sat down to watch a movie at home. They'd celebrated Father's Day the night before. Lacey's phone rang around 6.30 that evening, and it changed everything. Farm safety means a few things to Northeast Missouri farmer Lacey Miller. I tell people that it can be you because it was me and it happened to me because it happened to him. Five years ago, her father, 58-year-old Ralph Griesbaum, was driving a tractor on his farm when the ground gave way near a ditch and it rolled over. Lacey's father was underneath. The phone call was from her brother. I get about halfway across the pasture and I look up and my brother's coming up out of the ditch in which the tractor had landed and he looks down and he just shakes his head. And he says, no and I collapsed into the pasture. Their father was dead. I sat there and I'm like, this isn't real. This doesn't happen to real people. Miller says the tractor didn't have a roll bar, which she says could have saved him. Now it's her mission to make sure her father's death wasn't in vain. Over the last few years, several tri-state farmers have fallen victim to an accident. At Tri-Township Fire, Lieutenant Andy Whitler says roughly 10 grain bin calls in five years have taken the lives of a couple farmers. Try to work in pairs and have one guy in, one guy out. Um, and first and foremost, before you enter that grain bin, de-energize all the equipment going in there. Since Grease Bomb's death, Miller has been a voice for the Missouri Farm Bureau, advocating for farm safety year-round. According to the Rollover Protective Structures Rebate Program, roughly half of all tractors in the U.S. are unprotected. The cost of her father's funeral, she says, was far more than the cost for extra safety. Just like in his life, he wanted to help people, and everything he did was to help others. Through his death, our goal is to save lives. The Rollover Protective Structures Rebate Program also reports 7 out of 10 farms usually go out of business within 5 years of a tractor death. And there's more to Lacey's story, and we have it online at WGEM.com. Daniel? All right. Thank you, Dylan. At Whitler also urges you to be on the lookout for tractors on the road with harvest season underway.